His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain today, coming from the United Arab Emirates, following a visit during which the, he met with the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty held discussions that covered bilateral relations, aspects of cooperation and coordination, in addition to the most prominent regional and international developments. Both sides expressed their hopes for positive outcomes and constructive decisions from the upcoming 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain on May the 16th under the presidency of His Majesty King Hamad. The forward to seeing the outcome of the summit have a positive impact. Both sides expressed their hopes for positive outcomes and constructive decisions from the upcoming 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain on May the 16th under the presidency of His Majesty King Hamad. The two leaders looked forward to seeing the outcome of the summit have a positive impact on enhancing the Arab solidarity unity and boosting the Arab nation's political and economic capabilities while safeguarding national security and fulfilling aspirations for progress and sustainable development. The two sides also called on the international community to assume its responsibilities in implementing the immediate ceasefire decisions in the Gaza Strip in a manner that preserves the lives of civilians and provides them with the necessary humanitarian aid. During the discussion, they stressed the need for effective international action in order to achieve just and comprehensive regional peace by ensuring that the brotherly Palestinian people obtain their legitimate rights and establish their independent state based on the principle of the two-state solution. The discussions also emphasize the importance of active international efforts to achieve comprehensive regional peace, ensuring the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people and establishing their independent state based on the two-state solution. His Majesty the King and the President of the United Arab Emirates reiterated the importance of continuing consultations and coordinations, according to a unified strategic vision, to achieve the common interests of both countries and strengthen the bonds of Gulf and Arab Brotherhood and enhance international cooperation in promoting peace, tolerance, and humanitarian solidarity. On the occasion of his visit to the UAE, His Majesty expressed his pride in the strong historical ties between the leaderships and peoples of both countries, wishing continuous progress and prosperity for the UAE leadership, government, and people. Upon his arrival to Bahrain, His Majesty the King was received by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh, arrived in the Arab Republic of Egypt to participate in the, 60, in the sixth conference of the Arab Parliament and the heads of Arab councils and parliaments. Al-Saleh emphasized the importance of covering and convening the conference and the meeting of the Arab parliamentary heads to discuss the topic of artificial intelligence and to explore ideas and initiatives to develop a parliamentary vision that establishes regulations for the use of artificial intelligence, ensures the protection of human rights and safeguards individual privacy. The conference, which will begin and commence tomorrow on Saturday in the Egyptian capital Cairo, is organized by the Arab Parliament under the theme, A Parliamentary Vision for Achieving Safe Utilization of Artificial Intelligence. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Azayani, held a meeting at Kuwait City with the Kuwaiti Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdullah Ali Abdullah Al Yahya. The two ministers discussed the deep-rooted, stolid fraternal relations between both countries and people and the ways to bolster bilateral cooperation across various fields to achieve the common interests and goals. The meeting also focused on the latest regional developments, including the war in the Gaza Strip and their impacts on security and stability in the region. They also discussed the ongoing preparations for the 33rd Arab Summit, set to be hosted by Bahrain on May the 16th, and the issues and topics to be included in its agenda. Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the member of the Supreme Council for Women and chairperson of Injaz Bahrain, Her Highness Sheikha Hassa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa attended the 17th edition of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award Ceremony to encourage productive families in the presence of the Minister of Social Development, Osama Al Asfur. During the ceremony, Minister Al Asfur delivered a speech in which he thanked her Royal Highness for her keenness to patronize the award since its launch in 2007 based on a vision to empower Bahraini families which reflects the principles of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister affirmed Her Royal Highness support of Bahraini women noting that thanks to her directives the Ministry was able to provide an environment for individuals and families to work. He said that Her Royal Highness is a model to follow in adopting and sponsoring projects and programs directed at integrating women's needs into the comprehensive and sustainable development process, adding that the Ministry is committed to achieving sustainable economic and social security. Minister Al Asfour expressed pride in Her Royal Highness's contribution and efforts in supporting the institutional movement for the empowerment of women. Her Highness Sheikha Hissa handed over the awards to the winners and also honored the winners at the Arab level. Her Highness and the Minister toured the exhibition accompanying the announcement of the award where she praised the development of Bahraini families' products, calling on all of the institutions to continue supporting them.
The President of Tunisia, Qais Saeed, received the credentials of Bahrain's ambassador to Tunisia, Abdel Aziz Mohammed Abdullah Al Eid. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the President and their wishes of continued health and happiness to him and continued progress and prosperity to Tunisia and its people. The President asked the ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty and His Royal Highness, wishing the ambassador success in performing his duties. The two sides reviewed the course of fraternal relations and existing bilateral cooperation in various fields and discussed advancing relations to meet common aspirations. They also exchanged the views on a number of topics and issues of common interest. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the results of the Independent Review Group's report on the neutrality and professionalism of the United Nations Relief and Work Agency for Palestine Refugees, UNRWA as it is an international certificate from the UN to donor countries to continue their financial commitments and perform their humanitarian duties in supporting the agency and enabling it to sustain its relief humanitarian and development efforts towards the Palestinian people until a just political solution is reached that fulfills their legitimate rights to return, compensation and establishing their independent state according to international law and international legitimacy resolutions. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the agreement reached by Azerbaijan and Armenia regarding demarcating the borders in the lands belonging to four villages. It highlights that these diplomatic efforts pave the way towards signing the final peace agreement between the two countries resulting in consolidating security and peace at the regional and international levels. Bahrain Polytechnic launched professional apprenticeship programs in the presence of a number of senior officials. On this occasion, the Minister of Labor, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, affirmed that the launch of vocational apprenticeship programs through the Bahrain Polytechnic, in cooperation with the Ministry of Labor and the Labor Fund, Tim Keen, affirms the ongoing efforts to develop the education and training system and align their outputs with the needs of the labor market. The Professional Apprenticeship is an integrated national program that includes five specializations that have been developed to suit the requirements of the labor market. The Vocational Apprenticeship Program, which was launched in cooperation with major companies in Bahrain and is presented by Bahrain Polytechnic University, has an active role in creating qualified Bahraini caterers in these specializations, thus making them the first choice in the labor market. Specialized national competencies are a necessary requirement that employers need in order to achieve increased productivity. Bahrain Polytechnic launched the first version of these programs out of its belief that the idea of vocational training for Bahraini students will have a clear outcome in developing the business environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhro, held a meeting with the Secretary of Attractiveness, Development and Digital Transformation at the Government of Monaco, Frédéric Junta, in the presence of several officials from both sides. The Minister emphasized the importance of mutual visits, joint investments and economic projects, as well as positive initiatives between the economic entities of both friendly countries, which serve strengthening cooperation, coordination and collaborative work. He highlighted the crucial role played by the Bahraini government in supporting the investment sector, which is one of the key drivers for boosting the economy and promoting Bahrain's economic development on a global scale. He also exhibited the potential and investment opportunities in Bahrain for investors from around the world, emphasizing the kingdom's commitment to solidify its financial and investment position and enhancing legislation that enables the country to attract major international projects, whether in the industrial or commercial sectors. In conjunction with the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, is holding a panel discussion titled Journey of Construction and Progress, Bahrain as a Model next Monday. The panel will discuss the participation of the Vice President of the Ju Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cessation, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the Advisor to His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Nabil bin Yagoub Al Hamar. On this occasion, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of BIPD, Dr. Ali bin Mohammed al rumehi emphasized the significance of this event and the attention it receives in the light of the gains and historical milestones realized under the prosperous reign of His Majesty the King, which resulted in a qualitative and leap across various sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain over the last 25 years, leading to unprecedented political, social, 
and economic accomplishments. He pointed out that the panel discussion will contribute to documenting Bahrain's development journey and acquaint future generations with the importance of this phase in the nation's history, building upon the Institute's role in promoting and disseminating a culture of democracy and national political engagement. As part of its efforts to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of execution services, the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies has launched a program to prepare and train private executors for individuals. More details in this report. Recognizing the importance of enhancing competencies and skills and working on comprehensive training programs, the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies has launched a program for preparing and training private executors for individuals. The program, which includes a five-day intensive training course totaling 20 hours, covers various knowledge areas and skills necessary for practicing the profession of a private executor. The program focuses on multiple aspects related to the fundamental concepts of the work of a private executor, procedures for selling real estate and movables, preparing and drafting seizure and inventory reports, and the rules and procedures of tangible execution. The Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies maintains a steadfast commitment to empowering individuals in the legal field and fostering excellence in the execution process. And through this program, it continues to elevate standards and promote a robust and reliable execution system. The Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by the General Authority for Social Insurance, hosted the 16th Periodic Symposium for the Retirement and Insurance Agencies of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries under the title Financial Sustainability and Re of Retirement and Social Insurance Funds. The symposium addressed several topics, including financial sustainability, demographic changes, insurance systems reforms, and investment, in addition to risk management and other important topics. The event was attended by the representatives of pension funds in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and aimed for achieving financial sustainability for pension funds in light of the challenges facing retirement and social insurance agencies at the present time. The symposium concluded with a number of recommendations, including the necessity of conducting a comprehensive and a periodic evaluation of the insurance system every three years, identifying challenges and the impact of changes and reforms on the system, in addition to spreading the awareness on the concept of sustainability and its importance in the field of insurance funds, as well as promoting a culture of sustainability and reviewing and evaluating the experiences of institutions and countries in the field of sustainability. The Kingdom of Bahrain seeks to launch the advanced fifth generation network and the sixth generation of communications in all regions of the kingdom. Bahrain is regarded as one of the developed countries in the world in the field in light of the support that the communication sector receives from various authorities. The Kingdom of Bahrain seeks to launch the advanced fifth generation network 5.5G and the sixth generation of communications as the network capacity will be increased from a speed of 3 gigabits per second to 10 gigabits per second as it becomes a necessity of everyday life. This networking technology marks the transition to a new era in the world of communications which will have a major impact on all the sectors from healthcare, transportation, education and even entertainment. It will also help consumers enjoy a comprehensive and unprecedented electronic experience on the internet.